on the season premiere of America East on campus. We'll take a look back at the fall champions. Overtime in the men's soccer and women's field hockey finals. Holding serve in volleyball and a fitting finish in women's soccer. And the teams and individuals who dominated in cross country. We like saying it's, it's a southern approach, people speak. <laughs> and we're on the move with UMBC President Freeman Hrabowski. And we'll find out why his school continues to receive national acclaim. When students say, Doc, this is hard here, I go, great. <laughs> because the harder it is, the more they're working, the better prepared they'll be, and the more successful they'll be in life. It's all right now on America East on Campus. From the campus of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, we welcome you to the start of a new season of America East on Campus. Welcome everyone, I'm your host Eric Free. Glad to have you with us and we're at the pool at UMBC. This has been the home of champions in the America East Conference. The men have won seven consecutive America East Championships. The women have finished in the top two in each of the last five years. A new season for swimming and diving is underway in America East with the championships taking place in February being hosted by UMBC. Plenty to get to as we start a new season of On Campus, but before we look ahead, it's time to look back. Fall champions being crowned around America East. In men's soccer, second-seeded UMBC claimed its first-ever America East title, defeating fifth-seeded UNH on penalty kicks. The two teams played during the regular season, a scoreless tie. Same result through two overtimes in the championship, setting up a dramatic finish. Retrievers goalkeeper Dan Luisa now made the only save, robbing Joe Corsello on the Wildcats' second kick. I was pretty nervous, uh, nerve-wracking. Um, a lot of people here definitely didn't want to up and down. My team, we trained really hard all spring and all summer. And uh, Going into the second overtime, I told them, I was like, you guys give me 10 minutes, I'll give you this game. And, you know, with promising that, you know, I better come up big, right? <laughs> that save set the stage for senior John Paul Waraska to win it. We've been very confident that no matter what was going to happen, we were going to win the game. So if it got down to the penalty kicks, we're just happy for the, the crowd that we had and the atmosphere. I've been here a long time, and that was one of the best atmospheres I've ever seen at a UMBC athletic event. The Retrievers went on to defeat Princeton in the first round of the NCAAs before falling to William & Mary in the second round. UMBC finished 12-4-4, and, and striker of the year Levy Wapu was named a third-team All-American. Not quite so much drama in the women's final as powerhouse Boston University made it four America East crowns in a row. Four nothing the final over Maine, the first six seed to advance to the title game. Twelve straight shutouts for BU heading in, but the story was number 12, Jessica Luzinski, the America East striker of the year. She got the scoring started with the only goal BU would need. The Terriers were far from done, though. Fellow America East first-teamer Jessica Kevorkian jumped into the act with her league-leading 14th goal of the season, 2 nothing Terriers at the half, and another trophy within reach. Second half, more of the same. Less than two minutes in, a header from Kylie Strom extended the lead to 3-0, and then Luzinski's second of the game closed it out. Another shutout and another championship for Boston University. It was awesome. It was definitely a team win. Our defense has been unbelievable from our goalkeepers all the way up to our forwards. Just team defense has really been amazing this year. And our front line and our midfield and just in attack, getting attack from our outside backs. It was awesome. We started out with such an incredible out-of-conference schedule and I think that really prepared us well for our conference. Just lazinski has been a, pretty much a constant. Uh, and she's had an outstanding year and she deserves everything she's getting with her accolades. Uh, but it takes a team, and it takes a team in practice every day to uh, keep challenging each other to keep getting better. They've just been terrific all year, just one, one game at a time, not looking pe You know, certainly their eyes were on the NCAA tournament, and we, we, we felt confident that um, you know, we were the the good enough to win this game and, and represent, but you can't get too far ahead of yourself. You have to take care of business and you can't be starting to think four steps ahead 
Um, and I think our team has done a wonderful job of staying in the moment and uh, playing the game that's next up. The shutout streak finally came to an end against Boston College in the first round of the NCAAs as the Terriers fell 2-1, finishing the year with a school record 16 wins. Still to come, four other champions crowned in the fall. A look at volleyball at Albany, field hockey at UNH, and the cross-country championships in Boston when America East on campus returns.